Well, more than two-thirds of Eubank's customers are mine workers, which has left the bank reeling after a five-month-long platinum wage strike. We joined in studio by the bank's CEO, Lutanda Votula, and uh, Vishnu Dusad, who's the chief executive of Indian group Nucleus Software. Uh, obviously, uh, Lutanda, we've all been looking at Eubank and seeing the difficulties you were, went through after Marikana. We had to write off 200 million in one one year of bad debts. Now we've got another five-month strike in the uh, sector. Clearly, if people aren't being paid, they can't service their loans. Just explain to us what the impact has been on your uh, deposit book, or sorry, on your lending book. Uh, good day, Alec, and, and thanks for that. Look, I mean, I think uh, the reality is that the last five months, or the months when people uh, or mine workers actually were on strike, was a difficult time for the bank. There's no question about that. But having said that, I think we are now over that period, and I think what we've been doing the last month or so, uh, you know, has been communicating with our customers. Now they are back at work. The important thing to do is to actually to encourage them to restructure their loans. And I can say that. I mean that we are actually on target it's going very well and obviously this being the first month when people actually have to now pay up and we're looking forward and I think we're confident that um, you know going forward we're going to turn the tide but, but how, what happens during those five months I'm a I'm a rock drill operator I don't have any income I can't pay my debt to you bank do you just capitalize the interest well, yes, we do that, but I think what we've then done, I mean, the opportunity obviously came after the strike, when we then said to people, we encourage them to come to our branches. Now, we I get that, but yes. what happens during that period? Because we if a guy's got, yes. he's got a 10,000 rand loan to start yes. with, at the end of the period, how big is, has the loan grown Well, to? we would capitalize the interest based on the, you know, interest that we're charging on that particular loan. And what loan. do you charge? Well, it's a competitive rate, you know, it, as you understand, interest rates are actually based on the risk profile of that particular person. So it would differ from customer Roughly. to customer. Roughly. It could be prime plus, it could be prime minus, to be honest with you, I wouldn't know. It's as, it's know. as close to the, to the uh, commercial banking rates as that. It's not the typical micro lender 20% a month. Well, it would depend, again, you know, it, it, it's the risk profile, mm -hmm. really, of, of the customer. And mm. then based on that, you know, we would then be able to then give an interest rate. All right, different way of looking at it. How much is now, extend, uh, is now uh, outstanding? How much of your book is outstanding today as against when the strike began? No, no, look, I mean, the issue is we've got almost about a billion rand book. I mean, our exposure in the platinum belt has been over 25%. And as I said to you, what is very important is that of that 25%, as we sit today, over 70% of it has already been restructured, mm -hmm. which is, I think, good. That's why I'm saying that key is going to be the next couple of days when people now have to actually pay, you know, based on the fact that we've actually uh, restructured their loans. And, and the good thing about it is that, remember, we are not going to recover arrears. Mm -hmm. We've restructured the total mm -hmm. load, whether we've extended it or whatever the case might be. So, but those that they haven't, we will definitely recover the arrears. You've made it possible for people to to uh, to pay repay the the, the debt in a in an easier way. But we've also got uh, Vishnu Dasad here uh, from from India. Uh, so you guys are, are are working together to try and attack the Capitex and the Ables of this world. I guess Ables on its knees. You, you hopefully you're well enough funded. Uh, how did you get to know uh, Eubank? Where did you where did you find each other? We have been operating in African continent for last uh, decade or so and we made our entry into South Africa almost five, five years back and ours being one of the best products in the uh, industry, we always are on the lookout for the right customers. Who, are you, who else do you service in South Africa? Uh, we are top, uh, servicing one of the top four banks. Uh, which, one? which one? I may not be able to disclose that right now. You can't disclose who your customer is. Uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you go to these guys if they don't disclose who their customers are? Do well, you know who their customer, the other customers yeah, look, are? Look, I mean, if you look at, at, at Nucleus, I mean, they are the top, mm -hmm. you know, 
technology company in the world, you know, in terms of the lending platform that they have. They are not just servicing banks in South Africa, they service banks globally. You know, I mean, uh, so their lending platform, whether you look at Gartner or you look at any technology, you know, magazine or reviews that they've received, I mean, they are one or two. So that's why we're excited about their system because, you know, we're working with the best. I guess the, the, the issue, Vishnu, is how, how little teething problems do you have when you implement these systems? We've seen... Uh, Johannesburg municipality have had serious teething problems with their SAP system. Banks usually take a while to get things working I, well. I must compliment the U-Bank leadership and the technology and the business teams. This has been one of the best implementations that we have had over 50 countries and we work with uh, around 150. Why? Because of the sharp focus that they provided to go live and uh, uh, there are, there are, I would say, less than 5% uh, projects where we are able to go live on the date that was uh, projected originally and uh, U-Bank is uh, certainly one of them. So we are very excited about it. We would be able to uh, service the South African society. Uh, we will be able to be a tool in the hands of uh, U-Bank to service the South African society when they are ab they want to do uh, the kind of service that earlier uh, Luthando talked about. Well, it's, uh, we'll be watching you with much interest, Lutanda. Thank you for coming through to the studio. Uh, and also to you, Vishnu. It's been good meeting you. And that was Lutanda Vut uh, Vutala, who's the chief executive of Ubank. He doesn't look too stressed, does he? He's kind of <laughs> come through the difficulties uh, fairly well, still able to smile. And Vishnu Dusad, who's the chief executive of Nucleus Software.